well now in the UK. She was the deputy speaker of the Afghan parliament. She's one of only few women who are negotiating uh, on behalf of the Afghan government and the Taliban. She has been working day and night since um, uh, the Taliban took over Afghanistan. Ladies and gentlemen, Fazia Jan. I never wish that I will protest in the streets of London. I always hope that I will protest, struggle, live and die in Afghanistan. Like 35 million people who are now living under harsh circumstances, that was my hope. They say no one wants to live their home if their home is not in the mouth of shark. We left our home because our home was in the mouth of shark. But millions of people cannot live. They have to face that circumstances. We are here today to show our support and amplify the voice of voiceless women who cannot raise their voice, who are suppressed to prison. Only two weeks ago, six women were arrested from the time that they were doing a press conference. Zarifa, Farhat, and hundreds of women like them had to experience Taliban freedom. For what? For asking their basic rights, the rights to education, the rights to work. This will not relate to you because you are living in the UK. You enjoy education, you enjoy freedom. But can you for one minute imagine if in the UK, especially my brothers, can you for one minute imagine if you were not allowed to leave your home without a company, being accompanied by a female, by a woman? If you were not allowed to go and work and you were the breadwinner of the family? These extremist groups have no policy except suppressing women. If you ask them what is their economic policy, they have no policy. If you ask them what is their social policy, Taliban have taken over since more than a year. If you ask them what have they offered to the people of Afghanistan, while 30 million people are in the blank of poverty. If you ask them what is their economic policy, none. But if you ask them how do you suppress women, they have 34 ethics to suppress women. Against fundamental Islamic and human rights of women. What is happening in Afghanistan will not remain in Afghanistan. Why people in the UK, in the US, in Europe think that Afghanistan is marginalized? That what happens in Afghanistan will not impact you? Do you remember 2001, 9-11? Do you remember that? How many people are born before 2001, 9-11? Raise your hands. Remember? We said Afghanistan war is not an Afghan war. It's going to come to your borders. You were irrelevant in silence. This should not happen again. If you continue to become irrelevant, if you continue to abandon women of Afghanistan, if the world turn a blind eye on what's happening in Afghanistan, God forbid, we will experience another 9-11. Afghan women are fighting for Afghanistan. They're not only fighting for education. Education is the fundamental human right. In fact, it's the basic Islamic right for everyone. Today, millions of Afghan girls under the name of Islam is not allowed to go to, to school and university. Taliban are misrepresenting my religion. Why the Muslim world is silent? Why, why the OIC is silent? Why international community is silent in the face of Taliban's Broken promises. I was in negotiation with Taliban. They said they will allow women to become prime minister. Now women are only pushed to the corner of their homes. 20 million Afghan women are in prison under house arrest. Can you imagine for one minute if you are not allowed to leave your home? For one minute. For one minute. If somebody tells you what to wear. This is about fundamental rights of freedom and choice. It's the same everywhere when these military extremist groups have no other plan 
Afghanistan. Because discrimination in Afghanistan, discrimination in Iran, discrimination anywhere could be discrimination in your homes. That's why the UK government, the UK civil society must work with the women of Afghanistan for a better Afghanistan as we are fighting for a better Afghanistan. We are not only fighting for our rights, we are fighting for our country. A group that does not respect women will not respect anything. If a group is only working on exclusion, that exclusion could inspire many military extremist groups, many radicalized groups. That does